Robot dogs keep learning new tricks. One artist has trained Boston Dynamics robots, typically they're used by the police and the military, to create abstract art. One piece even went for $40,000 at auction. Their work has been so successful, the dogs uh, are currently on display at the National Gallery of Victoria in Australia, where they are creating new paintings on their own. Joining me now is Agnieszka Pilot, and you're the artist here. This is fascinating. I'm the robot artist. It's me, yes. <laughs> Where did you get the idea to combine artwork and robot dogs? Well, it comes from my background. I'm actually a traditional artist, so I like working in a real mater artist materials, but AI and technology is such a big moment right now, so I wanted to combine the two. That's interesting. What is the role of, of AI and, I guess, technology? I mean, I see what you're doing with the dogs, but I think I don't think any of us ever thought that they would actually create art. We thought that they would be, you know, working with police and military units around the world. Art's not something that was on our radar. Yes, yes. So I, I am an artist who works with technology, and we do weird things. So there are, so yes, the robot was not designed to be an artist. Was designed actually for industry mostly. So think about power plants, uh, construction. That's the main use. But uh, I thought I adopt one and you know uh, try to train it and see how it can be an artist. It became a very good artist, really. That's so interesting. So <clears throat> this is the softer side of the robot. I remember when the Boston Dynamics. Uh, developers were kicking the dogs that we were upset because it was like oh you're kicking a dog but it's not it's a robot so that was you know I think we assign our emotions to the robots in a way but on the other side you've got this fear about you know that the robots are going to take over the world AI is going to take away jobs AI is going to hurt us all those things have you gotten that feedback as well yeah, so uh, the museum actual exhibition is a great example how we can show the public a different side of technology and robotics. What I always like to underline is that it's a new technology, so it's kind of growing and learning. So it's a very exciting moment. It's a great responsibility for us as humanity, but also a great chance to direct that technology where we want. It's interesting because they were talking a lot about AI. AI became the big story in Davos. I mean, you're, you're European, you're Polish. I mean, you know that this is something that's kind of gripped the world. Yes, it is, but this is the next frontier. So AI, as you'll see, all developments happening in the metaverse. So the next frontier is when it's gonna meet the real world and robotics is it. So that's, again, the next step. That's what's so exciting. And I think artists are very good to exercise and uh, kind of exercise the future that's not happening yet. Yeah. What else can Basha do besides art? Well, Basha, uh, well, she can kind of try to cuddle, but that's not always, you know. <laughs> but Basha is actually the best way uh, to meet people, and it's almost like a Rorschach task. So if I take Basha out on the street, everyone wants to talk to me. So like you're coming with your own private celebrity. And it's fascinating because different people de uh, react different ways. So what is next for you? Well, I do also, uh, so because I come from a traditional training, I still like to paint. So I, I am uh, currently, I have a studio at SpaceX and I do a lot of work at SpaceX. I'm interested in Starlink technology quite a bit. I think it's the next big thing that's coming and both the power, but the hope, all humanity using it. Uh, there's something very exciting and as an artist, that's what I'm exploring now. But also you so understand the technology side of it. And that's, I think that's the fascinating combination here that we're seeing with your work. It's interesting. Thank you, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for being here. It's a very different take on AI and robotics. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much. All right, Agnieszka Pilat.